Today we are traveling across the Pacific yet again to react to more K-pop singers on Vogue Korea's hit YouTube series, Hashtag My Vogue. If you're into K-pop, great. If you aren't, stick around anyway because for whatever reason, Korean people seem to be extra articulate about scent in comparison to other people from around the world that I've reacted to, so I hope you at least get something out of that. But before we get into this all today, here's a quick scent of the day check. Today I am wearing L'Artisan's Timbuktu, a slightly dry, fruity, green, spicy, but overall smoky, dare I say, mysterious vetiver. And it's a scent I especially like wearing when I want to feel confident and or remotely put together. So for more on this scent, I'll leave a link in the form of a card to a video that I last discussed this in in depth. So please check that out after this video. That and subscribe and like as well if you have yet to, if you really want to tell me that you really enjoy this content and that you want to see more. After all, it's free to do and it's not like selling anything is bad to you necessarily, but all I'm asking for is your time. So please like, subscribe, check out the other video after and for now continue watching. But anyway, we got lots to discuss today, so let's get right into it. Now roll intro, roll video. Hyangsu. Aigo. 미안. 향수입니다. 제가 향덕후인데 요즘에 빠져있는 향수예요. H24? 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 <laughs> Firstly, we have Taeyeon of Girls' Generation here with something kind of unexpected. This is her 100ml Hermes H24 Eau de Toilette. And I know some of you might think that this is a weird choice for a woman because it is marketed towards men. But for now, I'll let Taeyeon carry on. 남자 향수예요. 처음에 호기심에 이렇게 시향을 해봤는데 너무 너무 좋아가지고 이거다. All right, I love that for her. Sometimes you go out smelling stuff and you really try to zero in on what your next fragrance will be, and then when you finally find it, it's just a really good feeling. 깨끗한 비누 향도 나고요, 풀 향도 나는데 전형적인 그 그린 풀 향이 아니라 어 약간 촉촉한 풀 향. 네. <laughs> 잔향이 정말 좋아요. 잔향이 비누 향으로 남아요. Yeah, I don't necessarily disagree with that. H24 opens up a tad sweet in a floral kind of way. The narcissus here smells very outdoorsy, a kind of wet kind of floral. And then you add a little bit of that clary sage for a more greener effect. So that type of herbal I can see Taeyeon describing as grassy. And then on top of that, to me, H24 is also more moist and mineral and just clean overall, which is also why I can get down with her saying that it's soapy. So very lovely stuff from the opening to the mid, but come the dry down, it becomes a little bit more nondescript. And for me, there's just next to nothing to write home about here. Maybe a tad musky, but it just feels like a shell of its former self in the opening and mid stages. So because I feel like the scent tapers off that hard, I think it's wise that if you smell this in real life, to not just smell it off of a scent strip, but actually spray it on you and then walk around the mall or wherever you're at and then make an executive decision. <laughs> Oh man, okay, so you can see that Taeyeon here is a world-class dork, but I must say that in comparison to other people we've reacted to in the past, I don't actually hate her spray routine here. Clearly, she's going for something more minimal if she's starting at her hands, wrists, and then rubbing on her neck like that after. Like, again, this is even better than the spray and prayers, just saying. Okay, that's what I'm talking about. Taeyeon is actually a world-class singer, so I get why she wants to smell something nice and maybe feel herself more on stage when she's gripping the mic. Like that's a really cool, more functional, job-related spray routine. Now again, not everyone's like this given what they do. For me, I prefer to get the most out of my sense as far as longevity and projection. So it goes without saying that I want to spray in the warmest of pulse points so I can properly radiate that scent out. But at the end of the day, when it comes to your personal application routine, I guess no way is wrong. It's just in my opinion, there's more correct ways than others. That's all. That's all. <laughs> 
despite Hermes using largely synthetic aroma chemicals to construct H24, it doesn't mean it can't come off as more alluring in a more natural sort of way. Just knowing the brand Hermes and how they feel so connected to nature, especially as far as past scents, I'm sure to a certain extent that's what they were going for here with a tad bit of a more futuristic type of feel. And hey, I can't front. I've definitely sprayed scents on me and I feel like I was a magnet for these bugs. So yeah, I can definitely relate to this to a certain extent. And if you have any stories of you spraying any fragrances on you and you feel like you were attracting mosquitoes and whatnot, please tell me in the comment section below how severe that was and which fragrance you were wearing. I would love to know. 한때는 초콜릿 향 이런 거에 꽂혀 가지고 초콜릿 향수를 되게 많이 검색하고 찾아봤었는데 아직도 못 찾았어요. 혹시 아시는 분 댓글 댓글 추천 추천. <웃음> Now this is what I'm really talking about. Because from what I've seen, Taeyeon has a really warm personality. So I figured that her scents would be more reflective of that. And I guess she's still looking for something like that because chocolate is definitely warmer, all things considered. So guys, let's pick out a scent for Taeyeon. Taeyeon, I hope you're watching this shit. And yeah, I guess if I had to pick any chocolate scent for you, it would actually be Tom Ford Noir de Noir. And the reason I would go with Noir de Noir is because the rosy vibes are so pretty here with the patch, the truffle, and the vanilla. And in the background is this chocolatey accord that is undeniably pleasant. And with Noir de Noir's overall projection and longevity being more nerfed over the years, that makes me want to recommend it to you just because I feel like you're still going for something subdued as well. Even if it's a note that's known to project more typically in the form of chocolate. So yeah guys, again, tell us in the comments which chocolate scent you would recommend and or if you have experience with any of them yourself. But closing out on this first one, if you want to smell like Taeyeon as per this video, currently a 100ml Hermes H24 Eau de Toilette retails for 107 US dollars, which also goes for around 65 US dollars ish on the gray market. So go ahead, save, save, save around 40% there and great stuff to take on. Ah, 제가 또 이거 두 개는 또 세트로 쓰는 건데 이건 핸드크림이고요. 이거는 이제 바르는 향수예요. Next up, we have Jisoo from Blackpink, and she has a duo of awesome Dior products, the Miss Dior Rose Hand Cream and the Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet Eau de Toilette Roller Pearl Fragrance. And I've talked about this ad nauseum prior, but props to Jisoo here for actually having a corresponding lotion to the fragrance that she has. Now, of course, a fragrance-free lotion, as far as more cost-effective options, will be just fine and is bound to not clash with more scents. But again, if you are getting a scented lotion from the same collection anyway and or as a gift, then you might as well use it it because it will only add to the wear experience of that specific set. But just whatever you do, at least moisturize with something because we definitely do not do ashy on this channel. Clean palettes of moisturized skin only. Please, because not only is it a healthy thing to do, but your scent does not matter and will not radiate off your skin if you just don't have those baseline requirements. Ashy skin will just dry up most scents, let alone the less is more approach from the roller she has here too. And in case you don't know of rollers, roll-ons, roller balls, or I guess Dior likes to call them roller pearl fragrances, typically they have the same scent and same concentrations as the spray versions of a scent unless stated otherwise. But of course with the smaller form factor and the rolling capability, kind of like a lipstick, that you can just spam all over your skin or more specifically on the areas that you're going to emit the scent from most. So again, those pulse points. Now, personally, I prefer the volume of juice that you're getting from a sprayer. That and depending on if that thing is going to stain or not, I also like spraying that kind of stuff on my clothes, which of course I wouldn't roll anything on my clothes because that top is going to get extra dusty. So of course, it just depends on your approach and or maybe you want both. Hand cream is I really like to use a lot of water. I use a lot of water in the summer. The cream is when I feel good, when I feel better. I'm going to put it like this. And then... <laughs> okay, so Jisoo knows the drill, and clearly she is content with a more modest approach because she mainly wears this for her. And I guess it's a cultural norm to be a little bit more modest with your scent in Korea or other East Asian countries, which of course is a stretch for a lot of us in the West and or in the Middle East who like to be a little bit louder with our scents. So again, it just depends on your approach, how much you're willing to tolerate in your own scent bubble and or the people around. 어 이거는 블루밍 부케 향인데요. 뿌리는 향수로도 많이 갖고 있고 바르는 향수 나오자마자 네, 또 대량 구매를 해서 집에 쟁여놓고 있거든요. 네, 제일 좋아합니다. 
Okay, I will get into the scent, but Dior, come on now. Y'all signed Jisoo to be the face of your products and she still has to buy them too? Come on, what's that? And I know she's not the face of this one specifically. Of course, that would be Natalie Portman, but still, just get homegirl boatloads of complimentary product. Come on, LVMH. I'm sure it's the least you could do because I'm sure she sells boatloads of makeup and beauty products for you. So yeah, please hook a girl up. And you know what? Don't y'all think that Jisoo would be an awesome face of a new fragrance campaign? Or at least a flanker of some sort? Just saying. I'm sure all the blinks would show out for that one. So yeah, give this video a like if you think that Jisoo should have her own fragrance campaign. And the cream do the coat hangy gabani da go, the coat hang the kitty hatchi, hopish, hang some you together hatchi, hang on with me. Now, I don't know if you've noticed, but the Rose Hand Cream and the Blooming Bouquet Roller Pearl are not the same scent, but Dior sells these in sets anyway. So I guess that's cool on Dior for trying to cultivate a more nuanced wearing experience. Again, as long as each product complements each other pleasantly, then yeah, nothing wrong with that. I guess I'm just so used to seeing the same fragrances paired with a lotion or a shower gel of the same scent verbatim. But yeah, as far as the actual products here goes, the Rose Hand Cream I really can't touch on because I haven't tried that myself, but the Bloomy Bouquet Miss Dior flanker here I'm very familiar with as my sister owns it. It features notes like bergamot, peony, and this damask rose. And while the citrus is nice and vibrant at first, it isn't a long lasting sweeter citrus that you would commonly see in fruity florals. Because in the heart, the peony takes over along with that rose really heavily. And if anything, that peony is the main event of the scent if I had to pick a floral between the two. That watery edge that it has just really pops in your nose so beautifully. And if you enjoy dewy, fresher florals, easier to wear, pretty girl stuff per se, then you would definitely dig this like Jisoo. There's nothing wrong with simple at the end of the day. It's cool, it's cool. Now, as far as pricing goes, I could not find if there was a set that came with both the Blooming Bouquet roller itself with the Rose Hand Cream, but there is a set with a 30 ml standard bottle of Blooming Bouquet with a Dior Attic Lip Glow and the Miss Dior Rose Hand Cream for around 110 US dollars, which seems to have sold out online. So I guess if you want something like that yourself, check your local stockist if you're near any. But if you don't mind copying either of these products individually, I see the 0.6 ounce Miss Dior Bloom Bouquet Roller Pearl retailing for 41 US dollars with currently no gray market availability. And the Miss Dior Nourishing Rose Hand Cream is also unavailable, but does currently retail for 50 US bucks as well, with also no current gray market availability to this day. So again, designer frags are already pricey enough, let alone a 17 ml version in the form of a roller. And of course, as far as designer creams though, that supersede the price point of the fragrance itself, of course, only buy it if you really, really like that scent and or you're going to wear it a lot, you know, so you can match it up frequently and get the most out of both products. I guess that's just the Jisoo way and I think she's killing it. So hope to see her on a Dior fragrance campaign one time, hopefully in the near future. But for now, let's move on to the next star. On Tom, Hyangsu. All right, so it's time for some more Girls' Generation action here with Tiffany Young, of course, Taeyeon's bandmate. And Tiffany is flexing on us hard with both her 50ml Byrito Rose Noir and her 50ml Aqua di Parma Rosa Nabila. So homegirl really loves her roses. Tiffany smells good. Now, hey, I was actually at Tiffany's show back in March 2019, I think it was. So you think I would be able to vet that hashtag myself, but I can't. That show was wild. I just wasn't close enough to the stage. But knowing now that she was rocking Rosa Nobila, I can now confirm that this hashtag was actually true. So yeah, I will get into breaking this scent down in just a sec. I mean, yes and yes, and thankfully I get to speak about this now because I can't front. Girl or guy, if someone is wearing a nice scent, they are only easier to approach and compliment if they are approachable and good looking to begin with. So yes, it goes without saying, that is the case for Tiffany right here. And that's also why I think it's silly to worry about fragrance compliments altogether. Because if you feel unapproachable and or unattractive, yet you want to get noticed more, why go the fragrance route when you can do more fulfilling things to give you that actual genuine self-esteem? Because sure, compliments may resonate with you mentally and emotionally for a period of time, but at the end of the day, that compliment could be still as fleeting as the fragrance itself when you just walked by someone. So if you really want to feel yourself, how do you feel about your family, your loved ones, your social life, your physique, your health, your career. These are things that are truly worth feeling good about long term. And someone who has those things checked off versus someone who doesn't will always get more compliments than the person who doesn't if they are wearing the exact
exact same scent. So you can romanticize fragrance all you want or any other kind of vanity, but at the end of the day, it's just retail therapy if you're going about things this way in that sense. 다른 걸로 갔다가도 결국은 이걸로 돌아오더라고요. 근데 뭔가 매력적인 음, 로즈 스멜이라면 얘는 엣지 있는 로즈 향인 것 같아요. 매력적이고 싶을 때, 엣지 있고 싶을 때 또는 같이. And I agree with Tiffany yet again here too. Rose Noir to me is a hot, mysterious girl type of fragrance. Like you're at your favorite pub or lounge or something like that, and suddenly someone attractive walks by, you catch a waft of them, and you're like, wow, haven't seen her before. That's this to me, and maybe her too if she passed through a favorite establishment of mine. But yeah, here you get a lot of rose, it goes without saying, oak moss, patchouli, all for a more modern day take on a rose sheeper kind of vibe. And what I like especially is that although there are other florals here, dewy florals, sometimes stuffy ones like Lily of the Valley, Regia, Violet, that kind of stuff. At the end of the day, this still feels like a rose scent, like rose is truly the main event here. And all together, it's a nice, slightly dark, outgoing modern take on a rose chipra. Perfect for a charismatic woman in her 20s and up going on a night out. Now on the other hand, Tiffany also has a proper daytime rose scent in Aqua de Parma Rosa Nobila, which I also really dig. It opens a tad citrusy with bergamot, but then you also get this fresher rose vibe. This will be sustained throughout the wear, a very fresh rose, and you also get peony here. So also wet and soapy with a little bit of musk. And I know I mentioned peony beforehand with Blooming Bouquet with Jisoo, which was also made by then Dior Nose, from but yeah, that guy also made this scent too, and they are kind of in the same genre when you think about it. You know, both kind of doing the rose or peony wetter floral kind of thing. But if you prefer rose, go with this one. If you prefer peony, go with the Dior. One, two, three, four. 그리고 얘한번 엄마. Oh man, yeah, she's a she's a charmer. And side note, there's not another girl group that makes me laugh harder than Girls' Generation. But I digress. Tiffany spray routine is definitely normal for a girl who layers. So mainly Rosa Nobile on her wrists and neck, and Rose Noir on her wrists as well. So I guess Rosa Nobile is her signature between the two, and Rose Noir is just there for a little bit of a bite. So props to her for knowing what she wants to do with each scent here. And if you also want to smell like Tiffany Young here, a 50 ml of Byredo Rose Noir retails for 200. US dollars with no current gray market action. And come to think of it, I'm not saying that Rose Noir is discontinued right now or anything, but if you were contemplating it remotely, I would buy it at retail right now if you can. Because I've kind of looked around and I haven't seen it shipped to any actual official Byredo stocks in recent time. Go ahead and check. Aside from Neiman Marcus, I just haven't seen it. Not at Saks, Nordstrom, you name it. Where is Rose Noir at? So in case it is getting discontinued with a capital D, it's better to be safe than sorry. Just buy it now. And at worst, if it's not for you, sell it at a premium after because it's only gonna go up if it's discontinued already. And come to think of it, this is also why I don't think that I've seen Rose Noir on the gray market recently as well, as there just might not be any stores remaining that are actively liquidating it because they might've just already sold their stock. So the more you know. And as far as Aqua de Parma Rosa Nobila, on the other hand, sure it is on sale right now at US Sephora for 132 US dollars, which does not seem too unforgiving, but then you check the gray market and whoa, you can get either a 50 ml for around 80 bucks or a 100 ml for around 105. So if you wanna save, save, save over 25 bucks and get twice as much in the bottle, just buy that 100 ml there. So of course, don't walk, run. And thank Tiffany for eloquently sharing her picks with us today. Great job, Tiffany. Ta da! Hangso. And last but not least, we have Hwasa from Mamamoo with something I definitely was not expecting from her today. Here she has her 100 ml Creed Royal Water. So a very minty, herbal, classic smelling Creed fragrance here. I just dig how cool it feels. And while something like Silver Mountain Water feels cool in a more alpine way, Royal Water instead feels cool in a soapy, sterile, genderless kind of way. And no, I'm not dunking on the scent. I've definitely come around on the scent. Yes, it's definitely one I used to dunk on, so I'm sorry. But because I also enjoy scents that I feel like it's okay to be less thought provoking in, that's why I really appreciate this one more. Now, ain't nothing wrong with classic and clean. I was a Chanel for about 4 years. Like a bowling beige color. I was using a beige color. I used a lot of pink and pink. I used a lot of pink. I used a lot of pink. So Hwasa also digs that Chanel Chance and Chance Autendre kind of steez, 
definitely respect those scents. But how is she going through 150 ml of each so easily? Like, damn, that's a big bottle. And from who I've smelled those scents off of, in my experience, they aren't even light performers or anything like that. So yeah, she was probably really projecting in that stuff too. But I guess I'm just glad that Hwasa really likes fragrance in general in a more maximalist sort of way, as it keeps things different from some of the other idols or Asian celebs that we've seen on this channel, who again, prefer something a little bit more modest. Yes, love it. Like you just don't really go to a Creed store or desk and reach for royal water. As it simply just looks a little bit more nondescript in comparison to some of the more flashy, more lauded offerings that the brand has. And this is also reflected in the scent itself where it's a little bit more low key. Again, minty, herbal, cool, classic. That's a little bit of a departure from some of the more charismatic reads out there. So yeah, I just really dig when people really like the things that they've purchased. I think that's really cool. <laughs> Maximalist, I told you. I take no qualms with that spray routine. And as far as projection with Royal Water too, it's not dog shit like Erolfa, but it's not Aventus either. It's definitely in the middle. So yeah, like Wasa, I'd also spray a couple times on my wrist and then at least five on my neck and body as well if I want to properly radiate to about an arm's length out indoors or under the sun. Yes, I love, love, love this tape. And nowadays I only pack a travel spray with me if I am traveling somewhere on a plane because I too want to reminisce on that trip with a fragrance that I would buy there. So because I really love that take that much and the rest of Hwasa's reasonings here, you know, the maximalist spray routine, the offbeat choice of Royal Water out of everyone's take on here today. That's why she is our video's MVP. And if you too also want to smell like Hwasa, 100 ml Creed Royal Water currently retails for a whopping 470 US dollars, but not to worry, you can still find Royal Water for almost half price off as it is reselling on the gray market for around 250 bucks. Or hell, for even more savings, buy an unboxed version if you don't care for the packaging. So yet, just more amazing deals here. Don't walk, run, and great stuff to Hwasa once again. And there it is guys, thank you for sticking around this long if you are still here but it's at that point of the video where i want to know what you think again now got a favorite artist here or fragrance perhaps a take of theirs that you really liked please let me know in the comment section below again please subscribe if you've yet to as well we're running a train on our way to 30,000 subscribers that and please hit the bell for notifications as well if you want to be among the first for new uploads like this it's free after all so you might as well jump in on that as well until the next time though thank you again for watching and for everything take care for now peace out bye my name is manny where are your fragrances